Hello, ladies, chins, and shy wallflowers waiting for their moment to shine. We return to the Retrofight Spelunky 2 experience. Still loving the looks and the feels of this beautiful pixel art mod for Spelunky 2. The goal is to get to the Cosmic Ocean through any means necessary. I checked out the temple in the previous episode. We saw it was a great time. But now... Do I want to spin a rope to get this dog? Nah, we don't need no dogs. We are independent. We are self-sufficient. It will be a fantastic ordeal no matter what happens in the future. We will grab that crate in a very good and diligent manner. Look at me. Look at me doing that. I did it. And it means necessary. I will go to tide pool this time around just to see the tiles and much like we went to John's tide pool version and if, if that's the version that goes to the freaking freaking cosmic ocean well so be it excuse me I was ready browsing wares you filthy piece of garbage I could do violence to get these things or I I could very casually push this in his face, and you could say, well, that was also too, also violence. Bargo? What the hell was the difference there? The difference was, I didn't get my hands dirty. It just got plastered between a shield and the wall. I didn't even have to watch it. So if you don't see it, it basically doesn't count. That's the way I've been approaching all my crimes, and police hasn't said anything about it yeah i mean obviously i've been trying to cover my tracks pretty hard but i don't think the, those two are related pretty serious just as simply you know if i i'm not a witness to the deed i am literally not to blame for it that's how crime and punishment works only i had to explain this to you you shoot you in the back just for the fun of it Never found the freaking Ujarai. More of a reason to go to Volcana. But also, I'll have the bombs to go to freaking Volcana. We may just be stuck not being able to do Jack Diddley squat. Go Volcana. Go Volcana. I mean, that's not Volcana at all, but it's fine. We'll just go around it. Not terribly intimidated one way or another. The Manfred Sprite. Sporting the most stylish 70s afro. Absolutely excellent choice of hairstyle. Totally jealous of his swag. Let me get out of here. Go to the other side. The questioning. That's like questioning dogma. That tablet right there. It's like the, it represents the tablet of command commandments for the cavemen. And they put a question mark next to it. It's like... Is it true? The tenets of what we believe, are they true? Just an expression of dogmatic doubt and breaking free from the conditioning. All expressing those two seemingly harmless symbols. You know something we never do anymore? Pick up the cosmic, uh, the alien compass. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful melody. I do like freeing the Gronks. They are often helpful these days. Not my proudest moment, the way that I just flee, freely dropped like an idiot. Not, not a fan. Right, let's grab this key for some reason. Freeing our friend Van Horsing. The sprite of which I actually played with in the speed runs all alone crush it crush it with maximum prejudice grunk you're not armed with the greatest tool of destruction right now but uh, i am sure you can make it work just club somebody in the head with a cranium we can always have grunk do the dirty business for us or i guess you know the good distraction well done Teamwork. One member of the team had to be left behind. 
Just collateral damage? What do you want me to do about it? It was necessary to accomplish my goals. I'm willing to make sacrifices and he was too. If he did it willingly, like he, I obviously, there was no coercion involved. Sure, there was a slave collar around his neck, but I had no, there was no participation on my front. Any kind of coercion of go there and actually sacrifice your life to end this scum lord son of a bitch. So he was actually a noble sacrifice right there. Definitely had nothing to do with uh, the leash that I was cracking on his, uh, between his shoulders. Nothing at all. Anyway, I was looking away while I did the lashes. So, as per our previous agreement, he was 100% free of crime. This fella is mad at me. That, that ball. Ah, why would you do that? <laughs> I didn't mean to drop that far, obviously. I meant to land on the little tile next to it. Just went too far. That was a legit retro fire mistake. Retro fire mistake. In the sense that the tile set on my own hitbox was kind of funky in my perception. Did not calculate properly. We're good. Everything's fine. Man, I wasn't even paying attention for Ujarai shenanigans. Really should be more alert for that. But you got bombs. 100% worth it. We also have a Kali Altar. Go boom, 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 boom. The Kali Altar me. Did not see it at all. I was too distracted with the rest of the level. I was just already looking forward to grabbing that dog at the top a hamster grind that hamster did not look ahead for the freaking yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> once again i mean they do blend into the background a lot more i don't think that that's a contestable statement the way that they blend into the background uh, a double six isn't that a isn't that a isn't that a gronk pretty sure that's a uh, that's a yeah our hand now does it pay for itself? Does it spend Cali favor? I am not certain about that. I've never actually looked up whether sacrificing a rock for an arrow or sacrificing dice for stuff, does it take... Okay, that answers the question right there. It's in fact just a free thing. You give it a double six, that's a hired hand that you get right away. There's no reason to be using that. And it's not like uh, you're spending Cali favor points or anything like that. It's just the way uh, she works. She converts those dice into flesh, gives it to you free of charge. If you want to give it back to the source for extra dividends, that is your choice entirely. Works out beautifully. Yeah, I did not see that spider in the slightest. We have a Kapala. Let us not humiliate ourselves by dying with a Kapala in the inventory. With this out, go up there, do violence. There you go. Dire humiliation to die with a Kapala. Why die to being whittled down with a Kapala in your inventory? Notable kind of place. So once again, did not find the Ujarai. I really should have been paying attention. But it's the lack of habit. We were passing on the whole Cosmic Ocean New Jedi nonsense for so long. Oh! Scum Lord. Trigger that nonsense. Get me some blood. This hamster. Should go to the exit, right? No, it doesn't go over the hump, huh? Yeah, then just do violence here. He'll come over. He'll come over! There you go. He did it. Oh, yeah. Well, can it is. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's the one thing I am very much willing to make fun of. 
I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Scum Lord? Oh, damn it! Oh, he's still. He's still. No, you son of a bitch! <laughs> the incredible combination of skill and incompetence. What a confluence right there. That was amazing. The way that I managed to follow up a great display of resilience twice in a row. Rope the guy, be a boss, not even a second later succumb to incompetence right away. Absolutely uncanny the way I manage those. All right, we continue antagonizing these guys. There's something about making them the classic skin that makes me want to constantly murder them. Splunky 2 shopkeepers. We already touched upon this the, the other day. The Splunky 2 shopkeepers definitely lost their edge by a mile. But just seeing their Splunky classic in incarnations makes me want to kill them right away. <laughs> There's something about it. I think that's an excellent argument to go into the mod files and make them more threatening somehow. I don't know what I would do to change their sprites. Ooh, ooh. Not sure exactly the change that would need to be done. Definitely make them closer to the Spelunky HD model. But do some kind of change that makes me want to hate them again. Because uh, I am without any real animosity for this Spelunky 2, regular Spelunky 2 shopkeepers, and I count that as a freaking tragedy, man. It's uh, absolutely tragic the way that I like eh, shopkeepers, super shrug. You know, I used to be seething with so much hatred, my undying animosity for those pieces of trash has been tampered so much, I mean tempered so much. Yeah, in Spelunky 2, and this is bringing it back up to the forefront, it's been so nice. Just that alone is worth the price of entry in the retro fire. My renewed, rekindled, revived hatred! Or these pieces of garbage. That being said, we're just, we're just skipping that exit. I don't need to kill each and every one of them. It's just no. The intention to kill them is there. I don't have to though. I don't have to do anything. All right. Okay. Let's go through this nonsense. We don't need to kill to free. Oh, we'll take this though. Check out these two bombs. Oh. Might as well get a gronk out of this. He picked up the gem that I wanted. Well done. Pow! Uh, a rope and a bomb for this crate. What if it contains the greatest uh, piece of loot ever conceived? Well, I feel like a idiot for not grabbing it. Gronk. Gronk. Do not handle that. Very dangerous implement. Alright. <laughs> Ah, fantastic. You outlive your usefulness, Gronk. You actually just got in my line of fire. I had no intention to just murder you, but whatever. Ten bombs, that's good stuff. Means that we can go to the bottom of Vlad's nonsense. Uh, I want all of those things. We're going to wait this out. It's going to be a very thorough premeditated murder. But it's okay, I'll look away. Check this out. Oh, look me, L look at me looking away from the crime. Once again, 100% legal. We have established this very clearly. It must be true. All right, we get our bow because the intent is to check out the cosmic ocean within the retro zone. There it is. You guys know me. I like to be maximizing the amount of loot that I get in this place. I'm like I'm already suffering through the boring challenge. Might as well 
Try to make a profit out of it. Not the greatest boring challenge of all time. Pretty damn humiliating. How terrible this boring challenge was. Nothing but digging through dirt. To find nothing at all. Feel like a contemporary Alaskan gold panner. I had to take that point of damage. The alternative was just exploding. In the fiery pit of doom. No reason to do that, but I did it. I could have tossed the turkey into the explosion. That would have been the maximal way to play that. Oh, oh, oh. Was I forgiven at some point? <laughs> or did it just vanish? Disappeared. Too Carly to face me. Okay, we have no Ujjadai. It's somehow a lot harder to spot in the retro fire. I don't know what is it about it. I was going to spend a bomb to get there, and then I realized no, absolutely not. You should not do that. You need every bomb to make it to Vlad's abode. Alright, we got this weirdo. It's an annoyance. Oh, it actually landed, baby. Oh, mistakes. No, I actually jumped after the bullet. Why do I keep being this bad? Like, I keep doing some really dumb stuff. It's not even a warranted death. Just sad, pathetic. Pathetic. Froze! That's what bothers me about it. I've never minded about dying. Dying is no big deal. Die all the freaking time. It's when you die due to absolutely preventable foolishness that makes me mad. Why was I obsessed with arrowing the weirdo when I could have simply not? I could have simply just ignored him, went to the other side, bombed my way down from the other side, and that would have been it. Thank you for uh, deploying this parachute in my moment of stupidity. All right, watch out for the freaking. Okay, this turkey is never mind. I want to say, watch out for the golden key. No such thing. No such thing in this one. Okay, we trigger that. That should do it. I was escaping from the punching, and I got hit by the arrowing. Very upsetting. Okay, uh, yet another victim of our machinations. It needs to happen. It must happen. There's no option. I must do it. I look too damn stupid. Not to do violence against them. Okay, so finally here's our key. I want all those things. Yeah, you, you can entertain yourself going up to check on your slave. You absolute freaking weirdo. Okay. Pretty like in the <laughs> retro version of the dwelling song. Very cool. Oh, we got some sticky bombs. Huh? All right, finally going to that dumbass Ujjadai. Really need, uh, remind me, you fellas, remind me, because I'm gonna forget. I really want to test whether John Lunky works with the retro fire. I don't think there should be any incompa incompatibility. They... Oh, I have sticky bombs. They have completely different domains, right? Oh, that's gonna kill him. Mwop, mwop. Um, they don't affect the same things. John did not include any graphics. The retro fire did not change any levels, so I don't see why they wouldn't work together. This guy's kind of annoying, isn't he? It's like in the worst spot. How about we just bring him up? Instead of trying to kill him down there, we can lure him into exactly where we want him. Mr. Shockeeper, where do you go? There you are. There you are. Come over here. Oh here. It's come, Lord. Why am I why? Why am I doing this? 
just kill him. Just freaking kill him, then sacrifice him. It's not as good as a live freaking shopkeeper. You're way overcomplicating. That's great. Thank you, Callie, for rewarding my lack of ambition. My safety, my caution. I will live to fight another day. Damn freaking weirdos. Alright, let's go back. I kinda want to do Volcana just because I keep dying in freaking Volcana. Ow. Why did everything explode? That was weird. The bullets must have been just too far apart from each other. Managed to destroy the bomb bag. That's weird when that happens. Wow. Amazing. Okay, Gronk, you got another chance. Hey, uh, please wake up. What are you doing? Stop! Grab the shotgun, grab the shotgun. Fight! That was not my intent. You can get it. I want to see... Uh, he came up here. I guess I should have seen that coming. I should have certainly seen that coming. That will teach me to ignore them. My hatred for shopkeepers. Oh, it's being reignited with a passion. There's a bonfire in my heart. And the bones of shopkeepers fuel it. There is so much loathing for their filthy bald paint on their dumbass, blank-eyed expression shall all suffer at my hand. It's a beautiful shop. Give that to me. We'll leave him alive so he can tell the tale of everybody to everybody else. I really appreciate having the shotgun. The thing I don't like with this, the jungle, yet another complication in the jungle is the way that you... Uh, the way that you often have to let go of a shotgun in favor of the bow and then you have to go into the freaking black market with the bow. There's no question, it's so much harder than Volcana. This guy will just kill himself with enough time. That's good enough. Where was the Ujara? It's a mystery. We're going to Volcana, if nothing else, because I, I'm constantly managing to miss out on the freaking new Jedi. Retro Fire makes it invisible. Very happy to get all these bombs. Okay, let's stop being foolish. What a weird uh, formation of tiles inside the the downwards warp over here. Oh, I was forgiven, that's right. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? I've been so thoroughly violent, but I guess, uh, yeah, I did skip the... I did skip the second shopkeeper. I completely deserve this forgiveness. Do you think my antagonization is going to stop at that? Well, if you believe that, you have not been around these parts enough. Well... I don't mean to do it like this, but that's even more hilarious. So, I'm happy as hell that that worked out the way that it did. Very great, very great interaction between all the elements of a Spelunky level. Very happy about it. We're bombing our way down. Hey, Gronk's still alive. What a great survivor he is. We keep gathering? That's right, I don't have one of them. Is this a mockery? I don't think I was going to reach this chain. Thankfully, well, there go. There go my slaves. Oh man, this is actually bad. I have to rope like this? Huh? It will create a lava explosion. You could argue that mistakes were made. 
Oh no. <laughs> Lost. We're not lost. It's, it's fine. Oh, it wasn't fine at all. Well, the constant string of mistakes and really dumb plays starting to wear on my nerves, starting to wear on my my spirits, bringing me down from some enthusiastic highs. Reminding me that this is still Spelunky 2. Oh, you just, you just freeze them, right? Oh, you just chop them. Chop them real good. There you go. I mean, I had a freaking power pack a long time. Sure, we'll open this door. I'm sure we'll get rewarded with incredible things such as a pile of bones. Alright, I see. What's going on here? Oh, there's a freeze ray. How does the shot look like? Slightly pixelated, same thing. Okay, so there's the Ujarai. Just need to find the golden key. It may be in the corner up here. I think it's worth one bomb. Kabumo! I don't think it's there. Nope, it's nothing. Alright, okay. Stop being foolish. Can't believe. We haven't just have not made it past the second world. World-renowned Spelunker over here. Everybody across the world. All those people in Botswana. They are... Uh, Blargo, yeah, of course. He's a great Spelunky 2 player. His Spelunky tutorials taught me so much about the game, they say. In Botswana. And here I am, failing so catastrophically. Thorough humiliation. Does he have something to do with my insistence to antagonize the shopkeeper at every turn? Absolutely not! Nothing to do with that. It's just a freaking coincidence. They don't want to spend the rope. Oh, we have turkey. Turkey capabilities, turkey roasting capabilities. Destroyed. All right. Let's uh, concentrate a little. It's making me mad. It's making me so freaking mad. The fact that I keep failing so badly. It really hasn't been. This job keeper has been maybe fifty percent at most of my failures. Nice. What you got over here? Maybe a rat face as a, a shop? No, it's just <laughs> it's just an empty cave full of nothing. Well, exciting! Let's get back up there. This power pack, though, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely want to get in there. I should have probably checked that there was no. You know what? Power pack it is. I know it's. I'm just inviting disaster. <laughs> Fully inviting disaster with this power pack going to Volcana. I do have the Ujarai now. I could go into the jungle. I'm capable. I have an option. Finally managed to not be trash garbage at finding the Ujarai. Mole Man does insist on being on exactly the wrong spot every damn time, though. Whoopla. That being said, I am feeling the, the jungle on this one. Although I do want to see what Vlad looks like. Ah, eh, whatever. What, do you think that this is this run right here is gonna go to the Cosmic Ocean? Please. I can't possibly freaking sell that. Although I did say that the last time when we were in John Lunky, and that was the run that actually made it. So it's just a matter of doubting myself hard enough to let go of the hubris. You know? Humbling. Reaching a humbling spot. Throw down the bro. Oh! <laughs> 100% planned. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? Oh yeah. Butt spelunked. 
You got butt spelunked, buddy. Somehow this guy survived a giant barrage of shots because he had some invulnerability. He was not powerful enough to resist the Mega B, though. Wow, this Mega B being so freaking cunning. Remaining under my line of fire. That was some badass. Some badass dodging action that that be engaged in. What you got? You got a dead shopkeeper and nothing else in it? Wonder what is the story there for this shopkeeper to be there? Kind of bizarre. Yeah, where you come from? The, the, the sleeping dudes, they are invisible in the retro fire. Gotta look up, uh, make sure that I'm not missing out on the... I just saw a blink, didn't I? Did I? Or you not? Did I see a blink? I don't think so. Nah. Boom! Can it even be in here? I don't think it can. The first level? It can be in the first level, right? God damn it, I just have lost all my memory, all my know how. It's all lost forever. I'm pretty sure it's not just not here. Something I haven't seen is the insta kill bear traps. Yep. Oh, uh, these spike pits always a uh, real never racker when you don't have the means to jump around. Hello, vegetable lady. <laughs> she says, "Ever so excited to see my ugly ass mug." Okay, so I ain't seeing. <clears throat> No black market. Oh, there is the black market. Nice. What the hell is this place, though? Okay, so the black market is going to be somewhere around way up here. Just go something like this. Where are you? Somewhere nearby. This place is so closed up. I'm going to do something like that. Of course it's going to be... Okay, it's up. Don't destroy my ghost jar, please. Whoo, nothing fell on top of it. Thank goodness. That could have been a disaster. Okay, 11 health, 4 bombs. And a power pack. This power pack will make a massive difference. In this place. I don't know why I went out of the way to get that beetle. I just like this sound it makes. Hello. I don't know where they went. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of bombs. I don't want to shoot more because there is... There is uh, bo lots of bomb boxes. They belong to me. They're mine! Okay, okay, okay. Just be quiet, B. Oh! No, no, no! Son of a... It drives me nuts! It drives me nuts! Not anything as Plunky did! My own stupidity drives me nuts! <laughs> 